Our bus is done. We are so excited to show you, but it took a lot of hard work to get here. We would each work our daily jobs and then come home and work until late at night every single day. It was exhausting, stressful. We would get mad at each other all the time. So I just don't want you to think that it was way easy. But if you want to check out our bus build videos, I made a playlist for you guys to watch and see all those. There's five parts and you can go check it out. But here's our bus, we'll show you. Best thing about the shower is it is an RV trailer one, so it has the on and off switch right here at the shower head, so we don't have to worry about turning these on and off all the time. And then above here, you can obviously see our knives. This was shown in our bus build part five video, but we didn't show the finishing results. So you'll see it from the inside, but here's the back view. Nathan made it, it's a time lapse, so you can see how he made it, but I love that they're there, they're secure, and they're not going anywhere where we drive. Here is where we mounted our propane. Um, this was actually on the inside, and we decided to keep it so it says emergency evacuation equipment. Um, that's how it's mounted. We have a gauge right here, it's hard to see it, but I just mounted it with these bolts, and then I self-tapped it into the frame of the bus. We have our 20 pound tank here, and then I have a four foot extension that comes off this to fill it up when we need it filled. This runs to our stove up front, and then this one right here runs to our water heater, which comes up right here. And then here's our vent so that we can vent those gases that it's burning when we use out. Here's where we fill up our water. Inside, we have a ton of storage. The only thing we really have under here is a boogie board and a tube, which we took out for the video. That bay is under our couch in the front. In our tote that we have in there, just holds some power tools, my tool belt, and a couple other miscellaneous things. Our laundry basket, which is accessible from the front. Uh, a table that we haven't used. Some extra def in case we ever run out some firewood in the box. There is our tankless water heater. It's pretty small, but it works really good. Here is our 22 gallon tank, our pump, and then that has our water filter and our hose and just a couple other little things that we store in there. This side, we have our solar charge controller. It's a 40 amp, two 100 amp hour batteries. We have our 1000 watt inverter and then our fuse box and our wires running all over. We have tons of storage in here, which we love. So here's our backup camera. It goes underneath the bus a ways and then it comes up the side and into the ceiling and then down into the dash um, monitor that we have up there. Here's our Reflectix. I spray painted it black on the other side. Um, we just did that so that people couldn't see in and underneath there pretty much keep people from peeping in on us. Right when you walk in, this is what you see. We have a Velcro bug screen that goes across here. We've just taken it down right now, um, but almost every night it's up. This is originally where we wanted my chair to be, but with time and difficulty in finding chairs, it is now just a tote for our shoes that it's right by the door, so it's super convenient. We have our towel hooks here. Underneath this cabinet is really where we keep all of our shower, bathroom supplies. We have a mirror and everything kind of like that. All of our shower equipment's there. This is just a fuse box for the AC and everything back there and other stuff. I just left it because I didn't know where it went and it wasn't in our way. Here's our backup camera. 
we turn on there see everything from behind this is our doors our rear ac and temperature controls it was all in a big box that came out and i didn't we didn't like it there so we just rerouted all the wires up into here this was like four feet long so it was hard to get everything up there so it does still look a little bad but everything's up in here now here is our stove we got this for 30 dollars off marketplace and we have loved it so much. We had this space behind the stove and we decided to use it for the knives. Here's our trash chute that we actually built. This is an open space as well that we had to figure out what to do. Garbage, recycling. I ate a lot of these when I'm driving, so that consists of most of our garbage. In here is all of our silverware. Uh, we have these clamps. These were actually meant for RVs for the drawers. Uh, and they have like an eight pound pull ratio. I don't know. It takes eight pounds to get them to open. So they hold really well. We've never had them open on us. We have cutting boards um, in here. And in this one, we have our pots and pans. We got this thing from Ikea. We got this from Amazon and we love it. The only thing is we notice sometimes that it splashes a lot because our faucet might be a little bigger for our sink. But underneath here is really our gray water tank under there just some cleaning supplies there in here it's again just like kitchen supplies spatulas measuring cups all in that drawer under here is all just again kitchen stuff our plates bowls cups some tupperware all of our blenders and things like that so it's great storage under there i know that you guys don't know this about me but i love plants and so we had to bring at least three of them my whole living room is full so I have about 20 left at home. But our bus is big enough, we have a junk drawer. This is literally our junk drawer. It has miscellaneous stuff, some masks, some gum, some lighters, chapstick, whatever we need in there, right? Underneath here is our fridge. It takes both cabinets to open it, but it is just on a sliding drawer. So we slide it out and then it opens this way for all of our food storage. We stocked it up this week. Um, and then underneath here on this side is, we'll have our fruit basket in here and then a cup. This is our drinking water. We just fill that up with ice and fresh, good drinking water under there. So we always have fresh, cold ice water, which we love. And then we also, while we're driving, we store our stovetop things underneath here so they don't rattle on top of the stovetop. Here is our table. It swivels, so we have the lagoon table mount. Um, if you're going to get one, I would suggest getting the factory second because we got this $50 off and it was only because of that little scratch. All of their stuff is usable. It's just got a dent or a ding, which makes it cheaper. But we love it because it does come off. So if we don't want this, I can actually store this under the bed. But if Daisha's sitting here, we can move out of the way so she can get up and out. Our couch is really big, but also turns it into a bed. So, and it's pretty spacious. I mean, you could fit two people in there, but they'd be, it'd be a little tight. But regardless, we could have extra people here if we needed. So we built these so that we could still have our storage underneath. So, but we actually don't have anything in it. We uh, haven't needed that storage. We have it under, underneath our bed mainly. Here's where Daisha sits because we didn't put a seat in for her. There it is. Up top we have six identical cabinets. They're all very useful for us. This is all of our like camping, hiking gear. And then the rest of these are all of our clothing pretty much all the way down, these four. And then back here, we actually left this one open because we wanted more of that bookshelf. We have our hats and our jackets in our back, some pictures and our books there. This is my favorite part of our bus. I think it is such a beautiful pantry and I love it. So this is pretty much the rest of our storage and this is our whole pantry. So we have all of our food, our toilets in the bottom fits perfectly, our swimming stuff, laundry stuff, 
games, and then the rest is just food and some medicine up here. Over here, we have our water pump switch. This switch is actually nothing. We were gonna do these as two-way lights, but they are actually the wrong ones. So instead of sending it back, we just decided to use it. And if we ever decide to use something, we can wire into this. Here are two light switches here. This one is for the front, and then the other one's obviously for the back. Right here is our inverter. So this is where we turn it on. And then that will turn on our outlet over there. So Daisha said that this is her favorite part, but I think that her favorite is probably the skylights. She pushed for the skylights a lot. In our video, we show how to make this. This is actually where the old emergency exit that buses have were. This will close. We have it on this accordion style um, it's like a paper shade blackout one actually, and then it just magnets and those let a lot of heat in. So we do love them for the light, but they are closed 90% of the time because they let so much heat in. We also put Reflectix above that because even with this, it blocks out the light, but just because this is black, it soaks in a lot of heat and it's like walking like when you walk into a store and they have those heaters right by the doors, it almost feels like that. Here's our fan. There are so many bugs in it just because we have this on every night, all night. And then we have our lights on for a good portion of the night that it attracts the bugs. They come and then they get eaten up by the fan. So we have to clean this every so often. We do have a rain guard over top of it. We actually had to buy that later on. We found out the hard way that you cannot have these open in the rain. We actually knew that, but we didn't know that it would get as wet as it did in here. Here is our bed. Our bedspread came from Amazon actually, and the picture did not look like this, which I was hoping for because the picture looked a lot more orange, but I really wanted like a terracotta bedspread and I, pleaded and prayed that Nathan would allow it and he did and we both love it. We got a new mattress underneath here so we just got that from Walmart. Um, a new mattress and then this bedding over top. Our headboard, this is our CO2 sensor. We have that again for the safety of our gases. We made this headboard. Um, it opens. It probably will be a little bit hard to open right now but it has some extra storage in there, some clothes, some books, some stuff in there. Behind here is our rear AC. It doesn't work as good as it used to when we first bought it, but we haven't really won, like we haven't taken the time out to get it charged up or see what's wrong with it because we don't rely on it a ton, but that's behind there. Another one of the best parts about our bus is how many windows there are. There's actually a window behind this that we covered up behind that wall, but we kept all the other ones open and I love it. So our curtains were actually really long ones and my mother-in-law again helped me cut and sew them so that they would be perfect length for these windows. So we saved money on that, cutting them in half and doubling it. But they all open at the top as you can see and then these ones we kept accessible for the emergency can open all the way out there. We really mainly use the one by our bed so we can look out and that one also opens up for that emergency exit and opens at the top for some airflow. These are our privacy curtains. They just hook with this leather strap and they open up on this flexible curtain rod that we installed that matches the curve in the floor. Thank you for watching our bus tour. We absolutely love our bus. We love the colors. We love that we can stand up and that we have a full bed to sleep in and also that we can cook in here. It's It's been so much nicer than, than the van. Yeah, like Nathan said, we've loved it and now we are living in it. We have started traveling. We are on the East Coast right now, but we have traveled so much already and we're so excited to share those travels with you. So make sure to like, subscribe and share even click that bell button so you can be notified of our videos every week to see our travels that we've been doing. It's been so fun, so adventurous, so beautiful. Stay tuned. We're so excited to show you. Thanks for being here. Now we know it.